Kevin the Weed Man here. Uh, just got done. This process took about an hour and a half. Just pretty much straight through. Um, this right here, this little spot is eight and a half feet long and five feet wide. Now my wife says I'm not real good at measurements, but that's what I came up with. So, you know, add, subtract, whatever. Not sure what she meant by that, but uh, yeah, so here we are. Uh, I was gonna plant my tomatoes in here today. Uh, I might do it this evening. Um, more than likely, I'll probably do it in the morning. It's hot. What I'll do is when I plant my, I'm gonna water this down really, really good. So I'll probably in the morning. Um, I'm gonna water this down really good. There's clay here. This is the first time I've really dug it up like that. And I'm glad I did, because I did get a lot more potatoes. Probably enough for a meal and a half, I'm guessing. There's some bigger ones that I missed. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get this looking better, get it wet, all that good stuff. Plant my tomatoes tomorrow. And when I plant the tomatoes tomorrow, I'm going to kind of put this stuff around them. Uh, there's hay in there. Most of that hay that I put in there... Or straw whatever you want to call it it decomposed it's it's pretty much gone uh, what I did kind of did a no dig method uh, with a little bit of dig I guess uh, when I plan these I plant them probably three or four inches under the ground and then I just put we make our own compost so our compost wasn't fully broken down there were still leaves uh, breaking down eggshells breaking down all that good stuff uh, put that in there along with some uh, mushroom compost uh, Probably I'd say it's probably about four inches thick of compost And then after that I just put about a foot foot and a half of just straw on top planted these the weekend after uh, St. Patty's Day and They were doing good doing good. Like I said, it got hot uh, This is what I ended up with it is one five gallon bucket you know, full of potatoes. I haven't picked it up yet. I'm tired. So I mean, it's it's heavy, but it's not like last year. No, it just got too hot. Um, the soil, when I was digging it up, I hadn't watered it in a few days because I knew I was going to be digging it up. Didn't want mud. A uh, little bit of moisture in it, but not much. A um, lot of little potatoes. So I'm thinking didn't water enough when it got hot um now the straw and all that stuff would have retained a lot more uh, moisture so but yeah uh while we're at it i'll just show you here's uh two of my hairy ball plants that i'm really really proud of i just put them in these buckets because they're falling over uh but these are i'm not gonna plant these i might just plant them straight in that bucket and here's the other one. They've really got the blooms on them. I, I really like the, the hairy balls. They're pretty cool. They really attract the uh, butterflies and, and uh, honeybees. That's the word. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll probably, I'm going to put, fill that up with dirt. You know, let him live in there. And then I'll put him somewhere in my garden. And that way... Maybe he'll attract a whole bunch of stuff so I can get even more uh, tomatoes. That's the word. Okay, well, it's hot. That that took it out of me. I'm, I'm you know, dirty. I don't know if you all can see this. Let me flip you around. That's all sweat. So, yeah. All right, well, y'all have a, have a great day. Stay cool out there. And, uh, like I said, I'm sorry there's three parts of this video. Push some pause button wasn't working today not sure so i'll look into that but yeah i'll make another video with my tomatoes and hopefully i get a whole lot of them all right well y'all have a great day and uh hey don't forget like and subscribe um thank you for the 30 subscribers that i do have um neil <laughs> yeah i need to catch up to you you like you're triple me so that's cool you have great videos but, uh, yeah, just like, subscribe, and uh, y'all have a great day, all right? All right, bye.
potatoes.